stringing let's discuss what is stringing and how to avoid it hi remy here and welcome to my channel in today's video i'll explain how we can make use of retraction to avoid stringing using orca slicer as of recording this video i'm using orca slicer 1.8.1 you have the hot end here which is this silver color block heater cartridge thermistor the nozzle part cooling fan the actual object that we have printed and what you see this is called stringing and that is what we are going to address in today's video so what is stringing while printing the object the print head moves from point a to point b without printing or in other words without laying any filament such moves are called travel moves during travel moves the nozzle combined with the built in pressure in the hot end will result in excess of filament to force out and this is called oozing which leads to such stringing in this video we'll see how to avoid stringing to the best as we can before we change any retraction values make sure that your filament is dried and you have set the correct temperature value for the given uh, filament length is the amount of filament to retract so here 0.6 amount of filament will be retracted retraction speed is the speed at which the length this amount of length will be retracted travel distance threshold is a trigger value when retraction will be triggered so the travel distance from point a to point b if that distance is greater or equal to this value retraction will be triggered so if the if the travel distance is less than this then retraction won't be triggered wipe while retracting we need to enable this option and also make sure to set these two values so wipe distance is how much of wipe should be done before there is a travel move and how much of filament to be retracted before doing the wipe so in, in it means that uh, this values will be applicable after retraction and before travel move so do a wipe after retracting and how much of uh, filament to be retra retracted before doing a wipe so here i am saying do 100% retract and then do uh, 2, 2 mm of wipe after that uh, do the travel move the retraction speed this speed is uh, applicable after the travel move once the retraction is done the travel move is done and before starting the next print what is the speed that must be set to push the filament back if set to zero it will use the retraction speed extra length on restart this value indicates the amount of filament that should be pushed into the nozzle if there is a retraction triggered which that is uh, if the retraction is triggered and after doing um, wipe a layer change all these things and after the travel move it will start to print so before it starts to print how much of filament should be pushed back into the nozzle this option should not be used and be should be set to zero in orca slicer retraction settings you will find in two places the first place you have to change it is under the printer so click on the edit button under extruder you will find this retraction setting over here over here you set your average values then under filament profile click on edit and under the settings override you will find these settings by if you enable this you will override the printer default setting of uh, retraction so if you want to override any of these settings at the filament level you can do it here so in the printer you can set your default value applicable for all types of filament and override individually per filament over here under the filament 
profile. Now let's start with the analysis. Here is the first test print with no retraction. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, oozing and stringing going on. So we'll continue with changing the parameters and analyze as we go. This is our first test print retraction enable and length set to 0.4 now let's compare both this object on the right hand side we have no retract and on the left hand side we have the object where retraction is enabled and set to 0.4 we can see there is a improvement over here we have uh, oozing over here and lots of stringing going on and we have less uh, oozing but there is uh, there is a uh, stringing going on here now we'll compare our next test print on the left hand side we have the new test print where we have enabled retract on layer change and on the right side uh, it's disabled there isn't uh, much improvement other than over here now we will compare after enabling wipe now in the left hand side you can see uh, wipe is enabled wipe distance is set to 1 and wipe uh, percentage is set to 100 we can if you see we have a big improvement after enabling wipe now we'll compare this print where on the left hand side we have wipe set to 2 and on the right hand side this is the previous print where the wipe was set to 1 we can see that there is a big improvement by increasing the wipe now we'll compare these two objects where retraction setting is same for both so this and this has the same retraction settings right hand side we have a um, distorted uh, object and the left hand side it's a smooth object uh, the reason for this is right hand side object is printed without drying the filament and the left hand side is after drying the filament this is the exact reason I mentioned in the beginning to make sure to dry the filament before you proceed with the retraction testing. I have done similar tests after drying the filament. So let's have a look uh, those test print. Here are the test print after drying the filament. All of the test print they have a retraction length set to 0.4 mm. The first one has 0.4 mm only. The second one has length set to 0.4 plus layer change. The third one has a 0.4 layer change and wipe set to 1 mm. And the last one 0.4 layer change wipe set to 2 mm. Here is another test print where left hand side retraction is disabled, no retraction. Right hand side following other retraction parameters. For this particular um, test print I had to increase the length uh, retraction length to 0 0.6 thank you for watching my video please hit the like or dislike button and also let me know about your thoughts in the comment bye take care and enjoy the rest of the video by watching the time lapse